All right, all right. Here we go. What's up, everybody? So um, even though this workout is specifically designed for one of my clients, right, Kristen? So uh, she's in Jamaica right now, and she um, asked me to create a, um, a band workout for her. So we're going to go ahead and do a band workout. And uh, But again, this workout can serve for anybody who's got bands and, uh, and jump ropes. So it's a very simple workout. And all you have to do really is just follow along. So for those of you who don't know, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead, we're gonna start with a pre-warmup. And after the pre-warmup, we're gonna do one round. So you can see back here, we got exercise one through six. And we're gonna go through those six exercises. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain them. And then round one will be like your warm-up round. That's the round where you wanna go light. Now, in terms of bands, bands are very different from, um, from kettlebells and dumbbells in that they have constant tension. So grab a band, I would say start light. Anything that's like an upper body workout, they say anything that's arms, shoulders, um, and maybe even like chest workout, back workout, um, you might wanna go with a lighter band, not, not with the back, maybe just, like just arms, like shoulders, triceps, biceps. Um, you wanna go light with those, because compared to your legs, um, you can go you can go ten times heavier with your legs than you can with arms. All right. So uh, and then just gauge everything slowly. Start with light bands. First round is supposed to be like, okay, uh, did I feel anything? Let's say you, you start with a with a light band and you do squats. So we do banded squats, and you're like, man, I really I didn't really didn't, didn't feel anything. Then you might want to go to a um, a stronger band. And so on. You're gonna feel it. Trust me, man. If the band is strong enough, you're gonna feel it. But if it's light, you're not gonna feel it. And but it's a matter of figuring it out. So just because you didn't feel it with a specific band doesn't mean you're not gonna really feel it with another band. All right. So um, have the band set up. You know, if you gotta pause the video to switch the band strength, pause the video, switch switch it so you can continue with me while you figure it out. All right. Um, but again, figure it out with the workout because no matter what, um, you're gonna be sweating and you're gonna be you're gonna be huffing and puffing even if you do use very light bands and you technically don't feel it at a specific workout. You're still gonna get um, you're gonna get a nice little um, butt whooping. All right. So again, all you need right is jump ropes today. You need jump ropes. You need a loop band. Okay. Now the loop band you can use. Um, Again, start with a medium light and then go heavier. And then you're gonna need the bands, all right? So we're gonna need all three today. And uh, that's gonna to be today's workout. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and warm up. And after the warm up, we'll get started with the workout. So um, we might have some, some, some uh, guests that are following around the bands and, and, and everything. So it's kinda of like, uh, get away. All right, here we go. Let's get started with a nice warm up because we need to have our, our shoulders warmed up and we need to have our legs warmed up. We're gonna start with the arms. Open the arms wide as you can. And you're gonna retract those shoulder blades really tight. And you're gonna start doing some arm circles like this. We're gonna start going in the forward direction, which means your right hand is gonna be going in the counter clock Counterclock direction, and your left hand is gonna do the exact same same way. So they're both gonna go forward. I don't put any music, so if you gotta put some music, get some music, make it nice and loud. Make sure you have plenty of water to drink. Anytime that I drink water, you should be drinking water. And let's go over and under, right here like this. Take breaks when you need them. Hit pause when you need to hit pause. But do not try to push to failure and faint because you're trying to be strong. You're trying to know. If you need a six-minute break, take a six-minute break. If you need a five-minute break, take a five-minute break. Let's go open wide. Retract those shoulder blades. Now we're going to go backwards. Now you're going to go clockwise with your right arm. And the other one does the exact same direction, going backwards. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Keep that chest up. You're going to feel those shoulder blades burning. 
and let's go over and under, just like this. Okay. And then we're going to do 10. We're going to swing back, and we're going to reach up. I want you to shrug up, cause tension, straighten that arm out. The arm should be locked. It should not be bent. Lock it. Push it out. All right? If you can bring it a little bit closer here to here, just go as high as you can. If you go up to here, you can't go any higher than that, that's a serious problem. All right? Serious problem. You need to work on that. You need to do more arm circles with the retracted shoulder blades. If you can only go up to here, that's still a problem. This is okay. You can get away with it. You'll have somewhat of a healthy shoulder, but you might start seeing problems in the future. You want to get in the ear in a, in a, and not by leaning back. <laughs> it's not the same. You have to stand straight. And you have to get that arm straight. We're going to swing it back. As straight as possible, we're going to do 10 swings. All right, ready? Three, two, one. So kick back and reach up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Okay, shake it off. Let the arms hang a little bit. Shake them up a little bit. Open wide. I want you to put your wrist, I want you to put the palm or the middle of a hand on your thighs and, and lay on it like if you're trying to take a break. Okay, so you're basically putting all your weight on those hands, right, to hold yourself in this position, like when you're resting, when you like do something really intense and you're resting. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna keep the weight on one arm, you're gonna shift all the weight to one arm and you're gonna bend and stick out your chest, you're gonna feel the stretch right through here, and then you're gonna open up wide as you can. Open high, if you can do a straight line, make a straight line, all right, right above the ear, all right? We're gonna hold it for two seconds, and then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna go on the other side, and raise up, all right? We're gonna do two second holds, we're gonna do 10. Three, two, one, let's go, so one, two, that's one. Put the weight, look up, one, Two, that's two. Wait, up, one, two, that's three. One, two, that's four. One, two, that's five. One, two, that's six. One, two, that's seven. One, two, that's eight. One, Two, that's nine, one more. One, two, that's 10. Woo, let's go over and under, just like this. All right, check it out. Next, um, remember a lot of these warm-up exercises are also indicators to see if you have any weaknesses and you should address the weaknesses. So we're gonna do a march. The march, you're chopping your arms. One arm kicks back straight, like if you're doing a tricep kickback. So straight arm, locked, not here, straight. The other arm goes right up, right in front of the shoulder, and then you're gonna keep switching. Now, whichever arm kicks back, you raise that leg. If you can only go up to here, problem. Here, you're okay. Here is best without hunching over. You should not be, you should be staying straight and trying to get that knee above 90. That's a good sign, below 90. That's a bad sign. And all it means is you have to do it more often and force that knee to go up. So you might start here. Next week, you might be able to go here. Then we get to that here, 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 and stretch and stretch more also to unlock stiffness and be able to get that leg up. But anyways, we're going to go here. One, one, two, two. Remember, arm that kicks back, leg goes up. All right? And then we're going to keep switching. We're going to do, we're gonna do 15, three, two. One, let's go. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Shake it off. Okay. 
Let's get those hammies. Let's get those hamstrings. Now, what you're going to do is same thing with the arms. The only difference is that whichever the arm, um, the arm is kicking back, instead of going forward, you're going to curl your foot to your hand. Don't swing it up. Curl it. Feel the, feel the, feel the contraction. And the less you swing and the more you raise, the more you're going to get that hamstring. All right? We're going to do the same thing. One, one, two, two. We're going for 15. Three, two, one. Let's go. So one, one. Don't lean back. Two, if you're going to go up to there, that's a bad sign. This is a good sign right here. Getting it up. Six, five, six, seven. Right? Don't lean back. Eight. Stay, stay high. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, shake it off, shake it off. <sighs> Open those feet wide. And we're gonna go side to side, just like this. Side to side. What I want you to do is remember, drive those hips back, bring that chest forward, and as your hips are going back, you're leaning to the side, you're gonna feel a stretch right through here. We're gonna go one, one, two, two, we're only gonna get 10, right? We're always stretching in motion before a workout, never long stretches. Always, it's called dynamic stretching, you're in movement, all right? We're gonna do 10, three, two, one, let's go. You can put your hands anywhere you want, one, one on the hips, you can have them in front, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Woo, shake it off. Next, we're gonna split, we're gonna do a split right here like this. Make sure that, that back foot, you're on the ball, you're on the balls of your feet, so you're, you're, you're curling up. You see that? I am not flat like this. I am in the curl position like this, I'm lifting the heel up. This leg is, is straight, knee above. Actually, it's at the top position, your knees behind, behind your, behind your toes, almost like behind your, your heel. And then as you go down, I want you to go about 90 degrees. Try not to go above in front of this, about 90 degrees. Just feel the stretch and come up. We are gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Ready? Three, two, three. One, let's go, so just down. You don't have to bring your knee to the floor. One, just like this. Two, feel the stretch. At the top, squeeze your glute. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and now we're gonna switch to the other side. Step back, three, two, one, let's go. Down. One, two, three, four. You only go as low as you can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shake it. All right. Let's finish this up. We're going to do some jumping jacks just to get our heart rate going. Feet together, hands together. If you can jump to the sides like this. Fantastic. If you can't jump, you can sidestep. So leg position, those are your two options. Hand position, you can go here or you can go halfway if you can't go all the way up because you have shoulder issues. But you can also go in front or halfway because sometimes people can't go to the sides, but they can go in front. And then you mix and match. So if you got to jump like this or you got to jump here, because you got bad knees or whatever, choose your combination and work with what you got. We got 20 jumping jacks. Three, two, one, let's go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Woo, shake it off. Beautiful, okay. So that is the end of the warm-up round, okay. Here we're, here's what we're gonna do now. 
So you see in the back, we got exercise one through six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna go from one to six, then we're gonna go back five, four, three, two, one. That's gonna be round one. Round two, round two, we are going to go ahead and do everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one for a double round. That's gonna be about an hour to seven, a 60 to 70 minute workout. Um, and then we'll go from there, all right? So I'm gonna explain what the workouts are right now. And what I want you to do, what I'm explaining is stay moving, jog in place, um, keep doing some of the, keep doing some of the warmups that, that you saw me do, some, some side to side for the, for the, for the inner thighs. Um, just stay active, do jumping jacks, right after every explanation, do five, 10 jumping jacks, just keep yourself moving, keep yourself hot, burning so that you're not cold when we start the workout, all right? So here we go. So with jump ropes, right? If you know how to jump rope, you know how to jump rope. If you don't, you don't. Um, if you don't have jump ropes, you can do, I'm gonna give you some ideas. Idea number one, just do jumping jacks. So we're doing 50 jump ropes. You're gonna do as many jumping jacks as you can um, during those 50 that I'm doing with the jump rope. If you, you can also do um, jack jumps where you're gonna go up, down, and you're gonna squeeze your back. All right, up, down. Okay, that's gonna hit your shoulders, gonna hit your back, especially if you have problems with this, like I told you, if you have shoulder problems, if you can't go past this, the jack jumps will help you develop a better um, position. You can also do, you can also just jump in place, focusing on driving, from the balls of your feet, landing softly, and then bouncing back up. So that when you, when you get a jump rope, or eventually you can you can uh, mimic it. So you can also just pretend, pretend you're jump roping. Try, just try to get up, up in the air, off the ground, okay? Uh, you can do side to side, okay? You can also put like something in front, like a ball or something, or even without a ball, you can just do front taps. Okay, just move it like this, front taps. All right, so um, you can also do just jog in place. If you wanna work your hamstrings, you can do it like that. You can do it like half and half. So maybe 20 and 20 or 25 and 25, depending on how many you can do. Um, but you can do it like half and half. The first round, you might not, you might have, you might be off on the number, right? You might, be, you might do like, 30 and 20, but you know the next one you can do 25 and 25, whatever. So those are just some options that you can do all right, instead of the jump rope. But if you have the jump rope, we're gonna do singles. Single jump ropes. Um, some of you might be double jumpers where you do two jumps. Right? And you might gonna do you're probably gonna do like 25 jumps. Um, but ideally I, I would want you to work on straight leg. A lot of people jump like this, right? They lift, they lift the leg when they're jumping. No, a jump rope, you jump, you go straight, then you bend, straight, bend, straight, bend. So if you're, if you're one of those people that jump rope like this, then put the jump rope aside and work on straight and jump. So straight legs as you jump, and then bend as you come down, okay? So then we're gonna do, we're gonna do a, Squats. So with the band, all right, we're gonna keep it simple on this first workout. We're gonna keep it simple. You're gonna you're gonna step on it about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit more narrow, right? You're gonna put it right here. So behind the tricep, behind the tricep, right here you're gonna squat and come down. You're trying to get as low as you can. If you're going to get this low, that's fine, right? And make sure that you're driving through your legs. So you come here and then push through your legs, right? Push the floor down with your feet. Try to keep that chest up. All right, bring your chest forward a little bit. All right, drive those knees out a little bit as you go out. You should not be squatting like this, okay? Try to turn torque out. Grab the floor 
with your toes. So you're curling, you're curling your toes, right? You're creating an arch on your feet like if they were hands and you're trying to grab onto the floor for dear life. Like there's a spaceship going over you and you have to hold on to the floor. Your feet are the last resort. So you gotta hold and drive. Hold and drive, all right? Again, depending how heavy the band is, is how hard that, that workout's going to be. So we are going to do um, 15, 15 squats. So again, keep it light, and then we'll go from there. Then we're going to split lunge, split lunge lateral raise, all right? So you're going to go with a lighter, lighter bands. Again, if you got to hit pause so you can switch, so you can switch, hit pause, and switch uh, switch the bad strength. Now, with, with uh, so this is split lunge lateral raise, we're doing shoulder lateral raise. Now, with the shoulder lateral raise, again, shoulders, you want to go light. Don't worry about the legs. You want to go light, okay? And regardless, the, uh, the split lunge is hard enough body weight. Even with a light band, it's going to be hard, but I want you to focus on the shoulder blades, okay? So you're going to step on the front. You're going to step, you're going to step back like this, okay? And then we're going to start from the top, right? So you're going to lunge, and then as you come up, you're going to do a lateral raise right here. Lunge, lateral raise. Relax. If you can bring your knee to the floor, great. And then you do this lateral raise. Now the lateral raise, make sure that your shoulder, your chest is up. You're rotating the shoulders down, squeezing, the, rotating, squeezing the shoulder blades as you raise. Right about up to here, about 90 degrees. You can go a little bit higher if you want, right? As long as you're not shrugging. I don't want you to shrug, right? If you start getting tired, you can only go up to there. That's better than nothing, right? That means you're going above and beyond, right? But the shoulders usually give out before the legs. So, all right? And remember, perfect technique. At the top, you're, you're kicking back, so your knee's going to be behind. And then at the bottom, you should be about 90 degrees, right? You should not be here, and it should not hurt. Boom and then drive through the front foot, okay? Your weight distribution should be about 60, 60, 40. So slightly more resistance, slightly more weight on the front leg than the back leg, all right? Um, don't put more weight on the back leg because then you're gonna pull your groin, all right? So we're gonna do 10, then we're gonna switch and 10. So 10 and 10. So you, you, you lateral raise at the top, and then as you, as you lunge down, you relax the arms. You don't have to bring them all the way down. You can keep a little bit of tension on the bands, but then every time you come up, that's when you raise, and then you bring it down. If you can keep a little bit of tension at the bottom, keep a little bit of tension. Don't just like relax, and then the band's gonna be like all flimsy, and uh, sometimes the band can, can move around. So try to keep a little bit of tension so that the band can stay firm. So we're gonna do 10 and 10. Then we're gonna be done with these bands. The next, the next three are going to be with, with this band, okay? So you're going to put the band on the ankles, all right? On the ankles. And what you're going to do is you're going to sidestep, all right? Now, at the beginning, I always like to keep a little bit of tension on the bands, all right? I don't want to be like this because then, again, it gets flimsy and starts moving around. So keep it right. Right above the ankles, a little bit above the ankles, all right? Do not put them on the thighs, right? Because a lot of people have weaknesses. They have a weakness in external rotation. So when you put the bands up top here, it makes you do this, and you, you're trying to, and then you're not really hitting the glutes. You're not, you're way, way off. Uh, Bella. Okay, guys, sorry. Bella's in the way. Get down from there. Hopefully everything is still recording, everything is good. Yeah, all right. All right. So, excuse Bella, right? So now, I, will have, I wanna have a little bit of a stretch, right? So I'm here slightly shoulder width apart. My first step, and then I come back. Side step, come back. Stay low, open up, turn those knees out. All right, we're gonna go five steps this way, 
Five steps back. One key, one key thing, one main thing is you always want to push with the side middle back of your foot, right? So middle back, that's what you want to push. Why? Because I don't want you to do this. I don't want your leg, when you're stretching it, I don't want your leg to open up like this, okay? I want it to stay closed. So if you actually, if you actually point towards the inside a little bit, that's preferable. Because then your foot's going to be always facing forward, okay? Boom. Turn inside rotation. Now, if you, if you are already advanced and you can push through the heel without your foot opening, without you going like this and turning your body, you have to stay forward. See that? My foot never, never opens up. My foot is always facing forward, right? We're going to go five and five. We're going to do that four times. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, four times. From there, we're gonna do a single leg bridge, right? And we're gonna hold the bridge and then we're gonna do abduction. So we're gonna kick to the side. Every time you kick to the side, I want you to give me a little bit of a, open your thighs a little bit, rotate those, those thighs to the outside. But more than anything, focus. So the, the leg that's down, it's only gonna open up a little bit. But the leg that's up, it's really getting a stretch. Trying to work that, those glutes. So it looks like this, okay? So, if you don't want to break fall, break fall. If you got to get down slow, get down slow, okay? So, here, what we're going to do is we're going to do a hip bridge. So, nice and high, okay? Hip bridge. One leg is going to go up, right? You don't, it doesn't have to be straight. Just slightly bent, right? So, right about up to there. And then you're going to kick out. And this, this one kicks out, then you come back in. Kick out. All right? And you're really trying to keep that hip up. What's going to happen is your hands are going to get tired, and you're going to drop that hip into the floor, okay? So if you get really tired, or you're having a hard time, if you're having a hard time with keeping the hip up, you can definitely do pumps, where you go up, down, up, down. Okay, but if you can keep it up in, in the entire time, okay, keep it up the entire time. Remember, one leg, so the one that's on the floor opens. Right here. And extend, stretch that band out, all right? We're gonna do 10 and 10, all right? And then, we're gonna do side to side squats. So side to side squats, you wanna have one foot on, you can put a quarter, a plate, um, like something that that's, you're not gonna crush and that you don't need, right? Just something that's a guide for you to be on because what you do is you're gonna switch. So if I'm standing, let's say I have a, a plate or something like on my, on my right foot, then I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna shuffle, right? From one foot to the other to step on that, on, the, on, the, on that thing that's on the floor. And then I'm gonna shuffle back. And then shuffle one, one, two, two. Every time you shuffle, when you get to one side, open up those knees, but stay low. Open up those knees, stay low. So notice how my knees are always I'm always focusing on pushing those knees out so I can hit the glutes, right? So I can hit the glutes and get that working, all right? So that's it, right? So that's, those are the workouts. We're going from one to six to one. Keep it light. And then round two, you're going to do a double round, all right? We're going to do a double round. Grab something to drink. You should still be warm, and we're gonna kill, we're gonna kill this workout. All right, here we go. So we're, we're starting with the jump ropes. All right. So we're gonna start with fifty jump ropes. All right. So Bella, go away. Move. Guys, you guys cannot come in here, all right? You guys gotta stay away. 
All right? Because this will hurt if it hits you. Three, I'm warning you. I'm warning you. It's going to hurt. Sorry, guys. Let me uh, Bella, go over there. Go over there. Go, go, go. Psst, 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 psst. Go. Psst, go. All right. Here we go. 50 jump ropes. Three, two, one. Let's go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, thirty, two, four, six, eight, forty, two, four, six, eight, fifty. All right. So remember, right? When you're doing a uh, when you're doing the jump ropes, all right, when you're doing the jump ropes, choose your poison, whichever, whichever, uh, whichever technique, whichever one works for you, all right? Next, we have the squats, all right? So grab your bands, all right? Grab the bands, all right, here we go. Remember, grab the floor with your toes. Put the band right in the middle of your arch, right in the middle of the foot. Bring it up here. Hold it up here nice and tight. We're gonna get nice and low. We got 15. Three, two, one, let's go. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Beautiful. All right. Whew. Got your breath. Here we go. Next, we have the lateral raises. All right, so lunge, all right, lunge and lateral raise. We got 10 and 10. So step one foot, one foot's back. All right, get in this position. One, one tip, if you're falling off balance, it probably means that your, your foot is right behind the other, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna be a little bit staggered. So you should have some space between one foot and the other foot, right? So you should have a little bit of space. They should not be crammed, aligned with each other. You should be, so if you, if you go here, right, the more spread you are, this direction, right, the more space you got, the more balance you have, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? And then slight bend, so the band, the band, the band is in, uh, doesn't move around, so you're gonna have a little bit of, a, a little bit of, of, uh, of tension, we're gonna go down and then we pull as we go up. We do the lateral raise, right? Ready? Three, two, one. So down, lateral raise. One, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, 10, awesome. Other side, other side, here we go. So step back, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So down, one, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, Six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, ten. Woo! So, here's one thing I didn't take into consideration. That's 20 lateral raises. Let's say that you did the first 10, and then you only got like four lateral raises on 
the last one, okay? That's perfectly fine, okay? Um, so you, now you know that more or less 12 to 14 is your, is your range, right? And with a specific band, let's say you don't have a lighter band. So the next time, just do six and six. You do your six, because that's gonna be hard for you, right? Harder than it is for me to do 10. So you do six, you let me do the 10, take a break, shake it off, and then when we switch, you continue, you do your other six, all right? Or seven and seven. But, um, right, so this, this is why you gotta learn and just give it time, and you'll figure it out, all right? So, you don't have to get 10 reps. If you do less, that's fine. That just means you're in a different zone in terms of um, whether it's strength training, power training, or or endurance, right? Um, but work with what you got, okay? Work with what you got. Next, bands on the ankles. Bands on the ankles, all right? Here we go. We're gonna go five, 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 five. Three, two, stay low, one. Let's go, so sidestep, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna go back. One, two, three, four, five. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five. And back. One, two, three, four, five. That's two. Stay low. One, two, three, four, five. And back. One, two, three, four, five. One more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! That butt should be on fire already, okay? Now, take your time, get to the floor, all right? Remember, so, we're doing the hip bridge. If you can't hold it, you're doing one rep at a time. Hip bridge, open, down. Hip bridge, open, down. You might do less reps, that's fine. If you can hold it in the air, hold it in the air. One leg pushes out, the other one opens slightly. We're gonna do 10 and 10 on each side. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Hips up, and let's go. One, two, three, keep the hip up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Other side, ready? Three, two, one. Hip up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. All right. Just do your best, okay? Just do your best. Let's get back up. And now we're going to go side to side. One, one, two, two. We got ten. Ready? Three, two, one, let's get it. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Woo! Grab a little something to drink. And now, we're going back to the bridge, all right? Ah, here we go. Get back down to the floor. However it is that you get down, all right? So bridge and abduct, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Bridge. And let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Other side, ready? 
three, two, one, bridge, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, beautiful, a little bit of stretch if you have to, take advantage, get in this position, because the, ha the back might get a little bit tight from the hamstring work. So stretch it out a little bit before we get up. All right, and then slowly get back up. Now we're gonna, we got those, we got those side steps, all right? We got those side steps, ready? We're gonna go five, 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 four times. Three, two, one, let's go. So one, two, three, four, five, and back. One, two, three, four, five. That's one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's three. One more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Ah, that's four. You can get rid of these. All right. Should be on fire, right? If you don't have a band, it's perfectly fine. Just do the side steps. You can do every exercise without the band. All right, it's still gonna work. Instead of doing like maybe a, a hip a hip raise, you can do you can still do the kick out. Right? It's just not gonna be as intense as it would be with a band. So you don't need the band to do these exercises. I mean, you can practically do all these exercises without weights, and all you really need is a jump rope. And even then, everything here can be done with body weight. Right? Because if you don't have a jump rope, you can just jump. You can do the, the jumping jacks, the jack jumps. Um, you can run in place, high knees. You can do butt kicks. So you can do this whole workout body weight. You don't even need you don't even need to use any equipment to do any of these workouts. All right? All right, here we go. We got split lunge, lateral raise. All right, so step on the front. Nice, nice and back. We got 10 and 10 or less. Again, if you did less reps, you can do six and six. Just take a little bit of a longer break in between reps, in between sets. You're gonna need the longer break, trust me, all right? Don't, be, don't feel bad about that. Three, two, one, let's go. Lunge, raise, one. Lunge, raise, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Woo! Other side. Other side. Here we go. Step back. Three, two, one. Let's go. Lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Stretch out a little bit. Breathe. Next, we're going to go with the stronger band, right? Test, test it out. Understand your limits. All right. We're going to go for for the 15, all right? Remember, grab the floor, turn your knees, turn your knees to the outside. When you, uh, all right, when you get to the bottom, pretend there's a spaceship trying to pull you off. For 30 seconds, you're holding on to the floor for dear life with your feet. So you gotta crunch those toes, dig the big toe into the floor, right? Create an arch, stiffen up your entire body, that spaceship cannot take you for 30 seconds. Then we do the squats, ready? So wake up, three, two, 
One, let's go. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Woo! And last but not least, we have jumping jacks. All right? So, sorry, we got jump ropes. All right? We got jump ropes. Luna, go over there. We got 50. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's get it. Two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, thirty, two, four, six, eight, forty, two, four, six, eight, fifty. Woo! And that is the end of round one, grab something to drink. So that is a ladder. So right now we did is, we did the warm up ladder. Catch your breath. Now, here's the, the point behind any type of workout, right? If you, we have what's called perceived effort. So you have 80% perceived effort, 90%, and 100%. So let's say, for example, on the, uh, on the squats, you get 10 reps, and you're like, I can't do any more. I can't. Like, that's it. You gave it everything you had. And if, if you try one more, you're going to fail, right? Even though you don't know, unless you try it. But let's say you're like, I, I know for a fact, I, I, can't, I can't do it anymore, right? And typically, if you give 100%, you, you like – you really can't recover from that. You have to take like a two or three minute rest, okay? So 80% perceived effort will be eight reps. 70% will be seven reps. Six will be 60, five will be 50. So what, what I want you to be is about 70% for everything. So if you know you can max out a seven reps, do about five. If you can max out a 15, do about 12. And what happens is when you get to under 10, perceived effort, right? When, when, uh, when hundred percent is 10 or less, um, you need longer breaks, much longer breaks than 10 and up. So that's what I was saying. If you can only get like six and six while I'm doing 10, that little break that you're taking while I get to finish 10, you need it. Physi physiologically speaking, scientifically speaking, you need it more than I do. If I do 15 reps, I don't need that much time to recover, right? But if you're doing less than 10, you need that recovery time. No doubt, okay? So that's what I say. Don't feel bad if you can get 10. That does not mean that you're a weakling and you're, and you're like, you know, you don't give yourself a thumbs down. That just means that for you, that perceived effort is that high and you're going to build upon that little by little, all right? So now, here's what happens now. Round two. We're going to go one, six, one, six, one. We don't repeat one and six every round. Right? So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right? And then that will complete. That will be the end of the workout. So let's get this going. All right? I want you to drink whenever I drink. All right? So here we go. 50 singles, all right? Again, take breaks when you need it. Hit pause. Hit the pause button when you need to hit the pause button, all right? But either way, we got 50 singles. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 
six, eight, 30, two, four, six, eight, 40, two, four, six, eight, 50. Woo! All right, bring it down. We have the squats. Here we go. 15 reps. Remember, so if you have to switch the bands to something heavier, hit pause, find the heavier band, and move up to the next band, okay? If you want to build muscle, find a band that your perceived effort is 10 reps max and get seven to eight reps, okay? So that's if you want to build muscle, all right? If you're trying to build muscular endurance, then you're going 15 reps, right? Perceived effort 80 to 90%, okay? Here we go. Three, grab the floor, spaceship is over you. Three, two, one, let's go, 15. Down, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Bring it down. Woo! So again, if you gotta switch the band, switch the band. Now you should be working on a lighter band. If you have two of them, fantastic, like I do, right? So if you have two handles, fantastic. Just switch immediately. So now we're going to the light one. We're doing those lateral raises. Again, depending on the intensity, if you can do six and six, 10 and 10, right? So remember, if you do 10 and 10, you're doing 20 total. That's muscular endurance. If you do like five and five, then that's 10. You're gonna build size. But just make sure you can get a full range of motion with five reps. Make sure you're not, you know. So, or even if you get like three and then you do half reps, right? That's, that's, that's gonna help you build some, some nice shoulders, all right? So again, but you wanna stay, you wanna have that intensity below 10 reps. So five and five, four and four, three and three. So you can do like three, 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 four, and then like two or three half reps. That's much better for building muscle than 10 full reps on each side, okay? So, but if you just wanna sweat because you ate a lot of food in Thanksgiving or Kristen, I know you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. You told me, all right, I know. But if you ate a lot of food, I know you ate a lot of food, then if you want to burn more calories, you do higher reps. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. So, lunge, raise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, right? You don't have to bring the knee to the floor. You can just go and uh, halfway if, you, if that's all you're able to do. And with time, as you get more flexible and you get stronger, you will be able to go all the way down, all right? Other, other leg, three, two, one, let's go. Down, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Shoulders are burning. Shake it off. All right. Put it down. All right. Now we're going to go. Band. Again. You probably started with a light to medium band. If you move up, you have to move up to a stronger band, go to the heavy, the moderate, or the heavy. We're doing two rounds, so you can go light, moderate, heavy, or go moderate, heavy, heavy. Depends how much you want to build, how fast you want to get those, those groups stronger, right? And again, take breaks when you need them. The harder the perceived effort, the better the results. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, 
three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That's one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, that's four. Woo, that's on fire. Man, if it's not burning, that band is too light, all right? Here we go. Bridge and abduct. So, get down. Ready? Remember, keep that hip high. You're gonna have a tendency to start dropping the hip. All right? Sorry, guys, hold up. A little break for you. So, you're gonna have a tendency to drop that hip, all right? So, I wanna keep reminding you, hip up, hip up, hip up. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Drive the hip up, leg up, let's go. One, keep it up, two, three, four. Hip up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoo, not just your hip, keep that leg up, two. Do not let your body start going down. Try to kick at about, at about a little bit of, actually kick at a vertical angle so you can stay horizontal, all right? So other side, three, two, one, hip up. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Beautiful. Stretch it out. Next, we got side to side squats. Here we go. Side to side squats. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. All right. Next, we have grab a little something to drink. We got the side to side walks. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, Three, four, five. One more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. <sighs> That's four. Oh my God, that burns. That burns like crazy. Woo! Talk about a group, a group workout. That's a group workout. Woo! All right. Now we got the split lunge lateral raises, all right? So yeah, guys, this is a leg-based workout today. You're gonna burn more calories than normal. It's gonna hurt like crazy, right? So you wanna build some, <laughs> some good legs, some good glutes? This is it, all right? Here we go. So we're gonna step back, all right? So lunge and lateral raise, three, two, one, let's go. Lunge, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Woo! Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Lunge, bladder raise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Quads are burning. Hamstrings are burning. It's all burning. Ha, here we go. Squats, 15. Remember, spaceship, all right, spaceship. Three, two, one, let's go. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, whoo, holy smokes, jump rope, we got 50. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's get it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, thirty, two, four, six, eight, forty, two, four, six, eight, fifty. Woo! Holy smokes. Grab something to drink. Now, we're not done yet. We got one more half, all right? I want you to blow right through it. We go straight back to, back to squats. So, Kristen, you better be doing this. All right, you better get this next round. I'm doing this for you, so you suffer with me. Everybody here, suffer with me, all right? We got 15. Ready? What's up? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, woo, 15. Only about 10 more minutes, man, 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes of pain, and that's it, all right? Here we go. Split lunge lateral raise, split lunge lateral raise. Catch your breath. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Lunge, lateral raise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ho ho. Oh my goodness. Other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy smokes. My legs are on fire. Woo! I'm hitting a little, 
reset button, all right? My own little, my own little rest period, all right? I am suffering just like you. I am human, just like you. I might be faking it, but I'm human, all right? Just letting you guys know, I might be faking it. I might not be in any pain whatsoever, right? But highly unlikely that I'm not in any pain. Five, 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 five. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. That's one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That's two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That's four. Woo! Ha! Ah. Glutes, glutes, glutes are on fire. All right, we got bridge and duct. Ah, here we go. Hands on the floor. Remember, keep those hips up and kick at an upright angle. All right, so try to kick at, at this angle. Right, so try to kick at, a, at that angle. All right, not here. Because what happens if you kick here, you're gonna go down, but if you kick up, you're gonna end up in a in a horizontal line. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Hips up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Keep that hip up. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Stretch it out. Let's get up. Side to side. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Grab something to drink real quick. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Uh, on the floor. <sighs> Bridge, right? And a duct. We got 10 and 10. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Other side. Three, two, one. Hip up. One, two. Three, four, keep that hip up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa. Stretch, stretch it out. Woo. Side step, side step. Five, 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 five. Let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, 
three, four, one more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's four. Holy smokes. <sighs> Done with that band. Done with that band. I had to kick it away because it hurts so much. I hate that band really bad right now. All right. Lateral raises. Grab that, that weaker band, all right? We got 10 and 10. Dig deep, these are the last three exercises. Let's go, three, two, one, let's go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, on the side. Here we go. Step back. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! We got squats. Couple deep breaths. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Let go. Last but not least, we have the jump ropes. Last 50, and we are done. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's get it. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, two, four, six, eight, 30, Two, four, six, eight, four, two, four, six, eight, fifty. All right. That is the end of the workout. I hope you guys, I hope you enjoyed this workout, Kristen, especially you. I hope you finished it all. I hope you burn a lot of calories. I know those glutes and those quads are burning. And I know you're sweating. So, fantastic job. All right, make sure you guys, if you have never seen these workouts, make sure you follow this channel, subscribe. There's like 400 more workouts with weights and dumbbells. All right, this is the first band workout on this channel. All right, so you guys can thank uh, Kristen for this for this workout. So thank you, Kristen. And uh, all right, man, we are out. That was a good workout. That was about 70, 70 minute workout, more or less. All right, 70, 69, 70 minute workout. So excellent job. Put those bands to use, order your bands, get a jump rope, and get moving. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo! See you later.